everyone well just want to clear one thing up you don't owe affection to no one you don't owe love to your family either and just because in this lifetime in this incarnation they are your family members does not mean that you have to deny your own self. Deny what's good for you in any given moment. What really is important to you and not complying with their requests anytime, every time when they want to yank your chains or strings or whatever because your family members are the greatest emotional manipulators ever and they are your greatest potentials an opportunity to really solidify your beingness and your inner power and find your way back and take back your power, which you might have given away to them when you were a kid. And especially if you were born into a dysfunctional family, meaning they were not mature, they were not conscious people, they were sleepers, and they were disconnected people. Your father, your mother, whatever, all that crap. And uh, since it was going on in in the family lineage on both sides you pretty much your job is you to self-liberate of course stepping back into your power especially if you were the empath in the family and as a child you were the caretaker of either both parents or one of the parents whomever you had more kind of connection with or whatever and of course this dynamics uh, can actually move and you can take that further and further into your adulthood as well this is kind of like a, a bondage kind of thing it's I would say this is kind of like a Stockholm syndrome <laughs> So it's it's basically you develop this this feeling of you know you think you love your family just because they are your family but actually you know the funny thing I never really had that in a deep level I never really felt that they were my parents um you know it was like I was like six years old and I thought, what the fuck happened that I was born into this shit? And, you know, somehow you know, feel it, especially if you have strong, um, really so strong sensing and you are strong at ESP. And, you know, right now, we're going through a lot of those attachment detachment things and a lot of us empaths are really getting out of those family dynamics you know like calling you parents every week or every day or twice a day or some bullshit you know it's like this why we have nothing to say to each other why or for example your mom might you know require you to go into family gatherings and you don't feel like going but they think that you owe them you don't owe shit to nobody you don't you don't owe nothing you don't feel like going don't go you feel like going go whatever you feel the pretenses you don't have anything in common with those people 
I mean, just ask yourself, would you spend time with anyone in that matter who you have no connection or, or mutual ground or any, I don't know, it's like they are interested in, I don't know what, whatever it is, and you are interested in consciousness and talking about really deep things you are a deep thinker and a deep you know you have this really this this quality of soul diving and those people can only talk about i don't know what the fuck their nuance scrap you know what the neighbor did today or uh, i don't know whose dog died or i don't know or they only talk about diseases and they only talk about you know all kinds of crap that you just say, what the fuck? I don't want to waste my time to talk to people like that about those things. I don't care for those things. Keep it. I don't know. Talk to the wall about those things. Or find a person who is on your same level. And you see, that is authenticity. Pretending that Okay, let's pretend that I care what you say. Please don't. Just say, I'm not interested. Fucking be straight. Or let's say, I've met people who pretended that they were interested in those things that I was interested in, but I could feel the gap between what they were playing out and what they were actually interested in. Because even during the conversation although they don't know that i'm and I'm, I'm i'm in constant observation mode they and and then i can sense it and they keep lying and they keep pretending and fuck you just you just get tired of those people you get tired of those energies because it's all wasted energy wasted time wasted space and no matter if they are your your family members, it's still a wasted fucking energy and wasted time and investing in people that in relationships which are is actually taking you no fucking where in that sense, it's just a waste of energy. But of course, you know, many people do not have the guts to say it. They are not they don't even dare to be honest to themselves, much less to be that honest with others. And they say, yeah, but then they get insulted. And who gives a shit? I mean, if, oh, you want, oh, you want me to comfort you with a lie? Well, no can do. Sorry, kids. You are innocent, unauthentic, inauthentic. And you want me to be inauthentic because you are still a fucking liar and a pretender. I'm fine with that, that you are a pretender and a liar, but don't expect me to be one, okay? And, I mean, you can expect it, but you're not going to get it. And so, fuck this shit, you know? And this is exactly where we're going. And we are outgrowing, outgrowing those people. We are so outgrowing them. That it's amazing. I remember once a friend of mine said, um, Stella, go where you are celebrated and not where you are tolerated. And this is what we start feeling, that eventually, and maybe we are tolerating them, and maybe they are tolerating us, and then eventually just going to say, fuck tolerating. I want to feel alive. I want to have great conversations over a glass of wine with people who are who are deep thinkers or deep feelers like me and not an authentic i don't want to spend time with fucking pretentious shit and no matter who they are they could be my sister or my mother or father or it doesn't matter why we are grown-up people now i can you know the funny thing you were born into that family. They say you don't choose your family. Of course you do. For spiritual growth purposes, of course you do. But once you've grown up and once you see the dynamics and once you see the bullshit, you don't need to participate in the bullshit. 
you can just move on. So don't participate in in the bullshit. Drop them. Drop the bullshit. You gotta drop them. Drop the bullshit. Drop your family. Drop whatever. Maybe you see it once a year. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're gonna see them five every five years. Maybe you will not see them at all. And guess what? It does not mean that you are a bad person. And you don't need to have guilt over the shit ever. Because you don't owe anything to anyone. Not even to your family. Of course, a lot of people will think, Oh, you're the devil. Yes, in disguise, you know. I'm the embodiment of freedom and self-liberation. And taking your power back. And not giving it away to uselessness and investing energy into shit that you don't feel like investing. Do not. Just drop the shit. Cut the shit. Cut those chains that chain you down. Don't give a shit. That's your freedom. 